Hi, this is James Sedley, and welcome back to the Living in Naples channel. With some seemingly very con uh, contradictory data and headlines out there, you know, what's a prospective home buyer to think and do today? Interest rates are at or near their highs for the last couple of decades, uh, so why would you want to get a mortgage now? On the other hand, you, you marry the house and just date the rate, um, i.e. you can always refinance when rates uh, seemingly inevitably drop, uh, so don't miss out on that house that you want. You know, these are just a couple of examples of what I am referring to that can lead to paralysis by analysis. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to do my best to help provide those of you out there thinking about purchasing a home in Southwest Florida with some perspective on whether this is a good time to buy or not for you. Uh, as always, I appreciate you subscribing, sharing, and liking, and I hope you'll reach out anytime if I can be of assistance to you or anyone you know. Uh, it's a bad time to buy a home. And this is a direct quote from a recent article that I read. Uh, this summer, more Americans held that view than any time since 2002, uh, the first year that mortgage agency Fannie Mae started its home purchase sentiment index. Um, those aforementioned high rates, uh, though keep in mind, uh, they aren't really that high when compared with those double-digit numbers that some of you or maybe your parents or certainly your grandparents carried on their mortgages not all that long ago. Uh, but anyway, those rates are a big piece of this sentiment, no doubt. Uh, so are the overhanging effects of the home price run-up uh, during COVID. Uh, it's no wonder that many buyers are reluctant to buy now when prices may still be at or near peak levels and the cost of borrowing is higher than in recent memory. Uh, you know, toss in sellers' reluctance to part with their homes and look elsewhere if they're sitting on mortgages with rates under 4% or even under 3%. Uh, and it may seem like a lost cause to even be considering the purchase of a home now. If you've watched any of my other videos here on the channel, you know I am, I'm not here to cheerlead. Uh, I'm not going to goad you into buying at all times and uh, it's never a bad time to buy a house, etc. Uh, you know, I'm just not going to hammer those cliches about dating the raid or the fact that renting is effectively paying a 100% mortgage interest rate, uh, other things that you may have seen elsewhere. Uh, you know, I mean, my aim is to understand your particular circumstances in order to pro provide you with any additional context or perspectives that can help you to make the right decision for you at the right time. Uh, you know, that means I might be the one telling you not to rush into making an offer, but rather to wait for a better opportunity, whether that's another home, better market, market conditions, or both. You know, on the other hand, if I see a buying opportunity that fits well with your particular circumstances, I'm ready to help you capitalize on it. So given where things stand in the Naples, Marco Island area market, uh, is it the right time for you to buy? Again, I want to learn more about your specific circumstances, but here are some general thoughts. You know, number one, I would say it is a good time to buy if you are looking to purchase your retirement home. You know, especially if that means selling elsewhere and making Southwest Florida your primary residence. Unless you're selling a home now in one of those areas where home prices have declined dramatically like Seattle or San Francisco, or a lower cost market where sales and selling prices are heavily influenced by fluctuations in interest rates, now is likely as good a time as any to cash in on the equity that you've built and put it to work for you in your retirement home. If you're moving from a state with high or any really state income tax, you know, that's just one more argument in favor of making the move to Florida. Uh, as noted in, in other videos, the market has softened a bit in 2023 in Southwest Florida, so you likely won't be buying at the peak, uh, but there's also seemingly no end in sight to the demand side of the equation locally, so we shouldn't expect a dramatic decline in prices from these levels either. So in summary, you know, and, and frankly, if this is your last home, do you really care where prices are in 18 months when you are playing 18 or relaxing by the pool? Uh, secondly, I, I would say it might not be the right time to buy for you if you are looking for a purely investment property, um, that especially if you'll be financing it to any large extent. You know, with, the increases, with the increase in prices earlier this decade and increased interest rates, your ROI as a landlord is definitely being squeezed. Uh, now, if you're already a landlord, landlord elsewhere, the equation could be dramatically different if you're looking to transfer some of that equity to, equity to Southwest Florida for the same purposes. 
Uh, likely nowhere is recession proof, but white sand beaches, amazing winter weather, gated resort communities, and abundant golf certainly create more insulation for Southwest Florida real estate than a lot of other markets. Uh, you know, those are just a couple of general scenarios, but again, let's connect one-to-one -to, -one to explore your motivations for considering a purchase in the Naples area, and uh, we can work together to determine when and what might be the best move for you. Until then, thanks again for tuning in, for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care.